Welcome in to Austintown, Ohio. We're getting started here at the 106 pound weight class. Chris Colucci on the call. To my right is Ty Stricko. We got a great duel on our hands tonight. Austintown Fitch welcomes in Canfield. And a great battle today. I mean, it's gonna be for the AAC title. Uh, a lot, a lot of questions going into this one. Excited to see what happens as we get into the later bouts. Uh, but we're here, at, we're starting at 113. And we get a quick takedown by, I think that's Quinn Garcia. Yeah, Quinn Gaika getting Gaika. down that quick takedown there. Quinn. Um, yeah, like you said, both lineups filled with studs all around. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a really, really good duel here. Um, it's ultimately might come down just to coaching where people yeah. move to what weight classes. So um, all around should be a great duel for you guys to start off. Gak has got the bar in, trying to run that one over. Gets the early takedown, 2 nothing. Minute to go here in the first period. He's got that bar and a half locked up, trying to get, I mean, bonus points are gonna be huge in a match like this. Two powerhouse wrestling teams in our area go doing battle. Uh, on senior night for uh, Austin Town Fitch, uh, got to honor those uh, seniors that put in a lot of hard work and dedication to their programs for over the years, and uh, they get the recognition that they deserve. Yeah, Geka here, um, a junior from Canfield, a leader, obviously, on this team, a captain. Um, they're definitely expecting some bonus points out of him. That's what um, he's coming out here. That's probably the game plan. Shaw came out here, told him we need a big, big start from you. Mm -hmm. And Canfield, like, they have some freshmen in their lineup that have, like, very, really impressed. When we uh, when we were at Beaver Local, they really impressed us. They did. They placed uh, pretty high at uh, EOWL and Hepner. Uh, so did Fitch. So it's going to be really good duel. I'm very excited. One of the best duels I think we're going to get all year. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's always a fun duel, no matter who is in the lineup with Canfield and Fitch. Yep. Gak has got the bar and getting some swipes here, trying to get the fall to get six, an early six point lead here. That shoulder is elevated pretty high, so I doubt he's going to get the fall. His time's slowly running out with 10 to go, and he's sitting through with that bar. There's a lot of pressure Look, on there. It hurts really yeah, bad. It looks like he might get him at the end here. He it's may. come down to the clock. Time runs out. Five nothing lead for Gak. And he comes up holding his hammy, or his, excuse me, his calf. Yeah, so Gak actually all season's been dealing with a um, MCL injury. So I'm not sure if that's really what was into play there, um, but Sat out a couple tournaments. His first tournament back was um, EOWL, actually. Um, I think in semifinals he ended up getting hurt um, and then came back to Ralph's for third and fourth and ended up taking third there. The injuries are a horrible thing to see. Both wrestlers will go neutral here in the second period, 145. Collar tie on the border and get shot out. For Austintown Fitch, that is... We got Braden Sovereigns there for Fitch. Yeah, Saw. some great constant movement coming off yep. from neutral. Not really uh, slowing down. Geka pushing nice. the pace here with a nice barrel there. Nice. Kenny dumping him in his back, get some points out of that. Bonus points. He gets a he gets a two and some swipes. He's in. Uh, he's got a major decision. He's gonna get the two. Those shoulders are exposed, and we're getting some swipes. Trying to get a five count. Yeah, he did a great job trapping that arm oh, there, making sure he can't escape. Going to a half, and then this one's a matter of time with a minute on the clock. Soccer's doing a nice job fighting off his back. Very good job. I just don't know with a minute left here. It's going to be gonna, tough to yeah. battle off your back for a minute. Yeah, and it does look oh, leggy. Yeah, it looks like it was back. flat there for Looks flat. Got to be down there for a few seconds, and uh, it gets called a fall. 45 to go. He's unofficially, it's 10-0. And Gake taking down the fall there. Going to make it 6-0 for those Canfield Cardinals over Ross Town Fitch. Great start for Canfield there. So we're going to see for Canfield, Jose Estramada. And for, for Fitch, we're going to get Sky Jones, the senior. Uh, Coach Bird, you're telling your senior, we need six out of you here. Yeah, absolutely. As Canfield just took down one of their leaders, um, Sky Jones is going to be a leader out here for Fitch. But uh, I guess a freshman here. We Ooh. said Jose. Yeah, we wow. said he's, he's he's lightning out he's, here. He's got a, a lot of agility and he's quick and explosive. Yeah, he's uh, definitely someone to watch coming yeah. up here soon. It's going to be fun to see uh, him and how he develops. 
both on their knees here in a kind of weird position. Don't don't really see it head to head on their knees very often. So we would train that a lot, uh, you know, just hand fighting in that position. Oh, and he goes into a head and he's got a head and arm locked Both up. He's got the two and here. this is going to be, this, this could be a fall here, 120 to go. Yeah. The senior trying to get six right back for his team. Yeah, that, head, that headlock's locked up tight with that head and arm. He's got a scoot bang, there's the fall at 120. Sky Jones gets the fall over Jose Estramada. Both of those wrestlers there, um, we've watched them both before a little bit. Both of them both go to those um, head and arms, though. Yeah. Uh, both very funky wrestlers. Yeah. Normally a pinned or be pinned mindset there between those two. Going to make it six, th six, though. Six to six. Going into 126. Joey Jantz and Santino, how do you pronounce the last name? You're a Canfield kid. You know how to, you know how to pronounce the weird uh, Italian last names. <laughs> I'm not good at this. Let's try it. Uh, Villa Palana. Okay. Let's go with it. Villa Palana, and we uh Janice from Fitch, 126-pound uh, bout. And, you know, this is, you know, when, you know, you're going to get, like, Sky Jones, the Marky Stankorbs, uh, Vince Luces. Uh, where you're gonna have those those athletes, and these are the crucial matches that you need to win when it, you know when both uh, competitors are lined up pretty equally. Two nothing here with a minute to go in the first. Just riding on top on that edge there, seeing if he could turn him, bring him back in a little bit. Back to his base. Up to his feet, can he get out here before they go out of bounds? Nice job getting his feet and turn away, um, especially on the edge there. Can he get, get, his, get, get his one before he goes for two here? He does. He should have his one here before they go out. Yes, and the ref does award his one. Um, he was trying to go behind for that, too. I'm curious as to if uh, he would have gotten that takedown there. Would they give him one and then two? Janice in on another shot. Gets the takedown. Increases his lead four to one. Gets the half in. Looking to run it over here. Picks that leg up, and he's on his back. We got... A little under eight seconds here. Can he finish this period out? That shoulder's elevated. Definitely going to, oh, now he's just getting swipes. Oh, and the there's time, out. same by no the bell fall. there. So it's going to be 7-1 going into the second period. Fitch's choice. Coach Bird says, let's defer. Coach Shaw says, let's go. Coach neutral. Shaw says, let's go neutral. That's an interesting choice there. Uh, you a fan of that one? I, I'm a fan of, you know, whenever I'm down, I, I like to get that escape point. So getting that escape yeah. point is very crucial. I, I don't know if I agree with that one necessarily because he got taken down twice right yeah, off the whistle when they went down. down. Maybe even give a shot on top. You're down 7-1. You got really nothing to lose. You give up a point there maybe, but I don't know. I think I go top there. Yeah. Janice gets a takedown again and is going to probably get some swipes out of this. It's all about knowing your wrestlers, though, yep. so. Coach Shaw obviously knows what is going to be best for his wrestler here. And there's another fall. Fitch goes up 12-6. Moving on to the 126-pound bout. Oh, excuse me, that was, that was 126. That was Joey Janis, that one. 32 coming up. Sam Thomas is gonna bump. He's gonna wrestle 132. Evan Protopapa for Austin Town Fitch. Protopapa, uh, I think he was in the Hepner Finals. I got to call that match. Uh, it was very good. Protopapa and Thomas here go out of bounds early on, 15 seconds in in this first period, and Protopapa almost in on a shot. Let's go of it. Now both wrestlers tying up. 
fighting for wrist control, seeing who can get where. Nice single pull there. Lifting that shoulder up and getting to that single. Gonna take him around back and get his two there. Immediately Puts right in into boot. the boot and the claw. Uh, boot riders are hard. It's uh, They're hard to get out of. You just gotta take one boot out at a time and then work up to your base and get out. I feel like every now and again you get you get one wrestler through Fitch wrestling that rides those boots and he does not let go of them. Oh, we see a quick fall again here. He gets two oh. swipes. Wow, two quick swipes. Oh, yeah. Still standing on those boots, trying to claw his way back to get some more swipes, and we're getting the swipes are coming. Yeah, we still got 40 seconds left here. He's on his back. It's gonna be needs to readjust here to get him fully down. Yeah. But um, it's very hard to get a pin with boots in. Yeah, he may do it here. He needs to get what he's got to do here is bring is one of the foot down lock? and support it. Is that a full body lock? That's I don't believe so. I'm not 100% sure on the rules there. I feel like Coach Shaw would be flipping yeah, out if it was. 100%. Right we know Shaw for his uh, hilarious reactions. He would 100% be out here. And he's he's almost flat. And there's a pin. Fitch increases their lead, 18 to six. Yeah, an early early lead here, 18 to six. We got a couple studs coming up here in these next couple matches for both teams. I think Fitch is or Canfield is going to bump. Their main, their their stud up. Cher is gonna, I think, gonna. I mean, I don't see how you don't wrestle Cher in this match. He's gonna, I think, he's gonna go bump up to uh, 44. Nick Joseph is one of the better wrestlers on this Canfield team, though. Um, so I think they do feel confident here. Jalen Danko for Austin Town Fitch, and Nick Joseph. Nick Joseph for Canfield. Oh, nice shot there, but it gets defended. Nice scramble, oh, wow, yeah. beautiful scramble there. That, Joseph, that was awesome. Joseph I'm, knew he was in bad position on the border there and got out, and they, they, they restarted to go neutral. That was a beautiful shot in, then a nice reshot. Just great chain wrestling there by both of the wrestlers. This is going to be, this, this match may go the distance. It may not. I may put my foot in my mouth, but both wrestlers, uh, both really good on defense and offense on their feet here. We've seen early on. Uh, slide by attempt there from Joseph, no good. Yeah, should have a good match here. Yep. Unlike those last two, we went pin to pin to pin to pin. Yeah. Four in a row there. Nice. He's in on a single, brings it up, tries to trip. That's not where one that's not where you want to be when you sit on your butt when you have a shot, but he gets the takedown. Two nothing. Tom, Joseph, excuse me, as they go out of bounds, get a restart with 52.4 to go. 18 to six, Canfield's in the lead. Or excuse me, Fitch is in the lead. Yeah, Joseph had some really nice shots there from neutral. He took three. Um, the first one was, just got, um, hold on. We got back to our feet here. Gets the one, but back to what I was saying. Three nice shots there from Joseph. Capitalized off one of them. Gonna make it two to one here for Nick Joseph. Thirty seconds to go here in the first period. Nick Joseph leading. Got about twenty seconds left in this period. We got a shot and some nice defense there. Really, just using your head there. Um, Nick Joseph using his head there to stop that defense. There's three levels in wrestling. There's gonna be your head, your hands. Oh, nice high crotch and dink. Your head, your hips, and your hands. Dang. Obviously, getting through all three of those yeah. levels there. <laughs> Taking him down, they're gonna make it three to two to end the period here. Wow, that's crucial there. Yeah. Danko got the shot with time running out. Within 10 seconds, a takedown down Ooh, there. That's, that's, yeah. that's huge. So you go into the, the period, you have a lot of things you could do there. I think Coach Bird make, made the right decision by deferring there. Oh, it was Canfield's choice. They Neutral again from Coach Shot. I, I mean, I go down. I mean, I go yeah. down to get that point, that little extra point I don't, to tie it up. I'm not sure, actually. Nick Joseph on neutral there. There were three nice shots yep. that he just wasn't able to capitalize off Nice Rhea shot there. And I may put my foot. Oh! oh that went out of bounds. Yeah, that was definitely a questionable call there. It looked like maybe we got a foot on the line there or something. I'm not, Very close. not sure. Oh, yeah, I will say we have one of the best officials in the house tonight. 
Uh, he's, a, he's a state official. Uh, he's been down at the Shot Scene Center a lot. Yeah, if you've ever come to high school wrestling, you've never seen this ref. <laughs> Somewhere around. Yes. Especially in our over. area. All over in that Northeast Ohio area. Yep. And then in early March, he's down. He's down in the in the C bus. Yeah, that's coming up in a little under or a little over a days, month here. Countdown on YSN Live Wrestling Instagram page. That's going active. If you want to send some of your pictures, former pictures, graduated, I don't care. We'll get it on there. Uh, please send us some pictures in. We'll get it on there. But 30 nice days to the shot. There. Nice high cross. Can he capitalize off it? It looks like he's gonna. Can he go to his back there? Nope. Missed. He's not going to, but he's going to make it 4-2 to two here, and that is a very important takedown there for Nick Joseph. This time, he, he knew he was on the border, brought him back in, got the takedown. Gets the it, lead, 4-3, and he's riding tough on here. 45 to go in the second period. Yeah, I was about to say, if you're thinking Joseph there, you want to go 1-2, not two, but it yep. looks like he was able to break him down there. It looked like he was going to be able to get out, and maybe a reversal there, but awesome. Nick Joseph, nice job of breaking him down. Falcons have choice in the third period, and we go neutral. Match is tied up 4-4. We got a good one here. And if you're Joseph, you're thinking you got to think another takedown because can't hold him down. You're gonna have to uh, yeah. go. He's probably gonna go down next. Oh, nice and high jack. Uh, yeah, and he get, gotta get that leg in there if you're Joseph. Can't get that. bench wants to and gets awarded to 6-4. At, I mean, at 10 seconds to go in the second period, I mean, these late shots in the period have been working out really good, and he needs to ride tough here. Yeah, he Can't get this escape. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, holding him down there is going to be huge in this match because Fitch is probably going to go down here. Yeah, if I mean, he gets you up, have it's going to make it 6-5. Uh, go but Joseph has been dominant from neutrals here. Um, let's see what can happen in this third period. It's going to be a two-minute. It's going to be an absolute battle here to get these three to uh, six points on the board for each team. See, now, I wouldn't be opposed of a uh, – I just kick him. I would not be opposed to a kick because how well your offense has been. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to give up the risk of a reversal. And then now you're tied back up. Yeah, I can 100% agree with that. Um, we haven't seen Joseph on bottom. Uh, we saw him get rode out for 10 seconds. Yeah. So we don't know if he's gonna, what's going to happen there. So I 100% agree with uh, letting him go. And whatever happens is going to be within the hands of the wrestlers there. Yep. So anything, I mean... Anything can get wild here in the 30 seconds to go. Tosses, high crotches. I mean, anything can come uh, when people get desperate. I yeah, you, gotta, like I said earlier, one, not two. You got to yep. think for Joseph there. He's a junior. He, he knows a little bit more. Um, he, that's one thing. And as a coach, you got to teach your wrestlers one, not two in these big matches that yep. are going to come down to single points. We trickle down to a minute on the clock in the third period. 6-5 here for Joseph. Joseph has been controlling here on neutral, so um, doesn't really have to do much, but he does have to get a little bit going here to avoid those stall calls. Yep. Joe, I mean, neither wrestler has a stall call. I was just going to get into that. Uh, usually the referee's a... Uh, yeah, Joseph's still pushing the pace here, though. That's what you want to see. You want to see a takedown here, and I think Coach Shaw wants that. And Wow, nice defense. Yeah, it looks like he slipped past everything. Got a nice double. Joseph was onto his hip, and he somehow got his hips under him once again. Yeah. That was, I don't know what just happened there, but that was awesome to watch. It was, a, I mean, really good defense there from. See, right there, Joseph, Joseph. he wasn't stalling necessarily, but taking those couple seconds yeah. off the clock was uh, very important there for him. Like, just stalling in that, like, kind of front head position right here once yeah. again. I mean, going it's back not to a, it. I mean, by no means is that a stalling. Oh, there he gets hit for stalling, so you've got to be careful here. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Canfield's bench likes that one. They get three points. Yeah, that's a big win there. Yeah. Um, we were saying we didn't know if Cher was going to go there, if he was going to bump up here. And Nick Joseph gets it done for Canfield. Going to be winning 6-5. A wonderful, wonderful match we just had there. Um, Joseph ends up coming on top with three takedowns to secure that match. And you got you to gotta almost think Cher, a stud for Canfield Wrestling. Uh, he's, he's only a junior, right? He is, yes, he's, is he a three-time or two-time state qualifier? Two-time state qualifier. He's only been in high school for two years to make it down there so far. He's still got two more chances. He's only a sophomore? Oh, no, junior. no, no. Oh, yep. yeah, he's a junior. We still got I'm this I'm sorry. Year. No, here That was my fault. Yes, I mean, you got to almost think this is gonna, there's going to go six here for... Yeah, it should. And Cher's in on a takedown. Kicks this is on. actually Cher's first match back from uh, his injury. MCL injury again.
Quinn and uh, Tyler had the same injury. MCL, small tear. Um, this is Cher's first match back, though. Wow. So I think, I'm not sure if they're going to be uh, working him out here a little bit, telling him to kick him. Um, I don't know. It'll be interesting if they just tell him to get, go out there, get the pin, or they want him to work for a little bit, get him back out in the wrestling field. Because, like we said, the state or the shot is only a month away, and uh, not many tournaments after this. We got about a two week break in between the last tournament and um, state. So, yeah, I mean, it's. Chair in on a left. takedown. He's right to a cradle, straight to his back. Not yet, but he's got to get his head down right on that side, and he's got the near side cradle locked up. Yeah, trying to run those legs against his leg, um, getting them over top. And there it is. Uh, Fall is, is upon us near. Doing a good job there. Yeah, very good job fighting it off here. Sure, going back with it, though. It still got a little under a minute here. Looks like a tight lock out there. Um, yeah. I was just about to say there, if you're sure, you got to think to spike. Got to think to spike and get over his back here. There it is. Yep. Six points for Canfield. Canfield's right back into this one. 18 15. Going into, what are we at? 150. 150 here. We were talking about these freshmen again. We got Joey Panunzio coming out here for Canfield. Another freshman who's um, had some really impressive matches. We've called so far. Um, the one we did watch was Beaver Local, Evan Hours. It was a 3-1 yep. match. Came down to the last second. It was a really, really good match there. Evan Hours, a freshman stud as well for Beaver Local. Lewis Deloach for Austin Town Fitch. 144 pound weight class. Um, I mean, I mean we... I think they both bumped up here to 150. Yeah. I think they're both 144s yeah. bumping 146 up. 146 and 143. Looks like Panunzio getting his hips a little bit taken away from him. And Saloch going to end up on top, taking down that two. Going straight to the bar here. Yeah, that was a nice little flurry there. Could have went either way there. Trickle down to a minute in this period. What are we at? 150 pound weight class. It's going to get interesting to see what the scores are. I and mean, we're not going to, we won't hack her out anymore, but we may see a match of the night. Could be match of the year at heavyweight. Uh, Vince Luce and Marky Stankorb uh, could, could do battle, bump Devin Phillips up and see what Fitch can do there. If it gets close to that point where they need to do it. Um, for our sake, I think it would be a really good match on yeah. the fans' sake, but Coach Bird's also got to take in mind that his wrestler, wants to keep his wrestler safe. I mean, Marky's qualified for state last year. Uh, good shot at placing high this year in the state. Doesn't want to get him hurt giving up that 60 pounds. But uh, both coaches have had a week or so to think about yep. this lineup. Every single year, Canfield Fitch is going to be circled on each um, program's calendar for one of the biggest duels of the year for them, so... Each coach has definitely went through every single situation here, thinking what's going to be best for their team. So I'm sure both of them already have planned out what's going to happen here. Both these coaches schedule very well. I mean, uh, Coach Bird, he, he puts his team through a gauntlet almost. Uh, they go to Top Gun, Hepner, then EOWL, back to back to back, which is a tough schedule and hard to get your kids through. We got to get an escape maybe here in the last five seconds. This could be potentially dangerous here. I don't, it yeah, could. there it is. 1.1 to go. Now, what is your opinion on this? So, if we're in that position, but the mm -hmm. top wrestler just jumps on top of the back to it's get to be that, a stalling. you think? Yeah, so it should 100% be a stalling. Um, because, if, I mean, if you're in the neutral position, but the top guy's behind you and you haven't lost control yet and you're in there for about five or six seconds or so, you get hit for stalling. Yeah. So I think if a guy just jumps up and throws in a boot, that's stalling. See, I've seen it sometimes. Like, they're, they just jump up and nothing happens, but there's also times there it's an immediate stall call. Yep. It's definitely always interesting, and it's always coming down to the ref, though. Start of the second period here. We Joey Panunzio for Canfield. He's on bottom, and... Louis Deloach. Yep. Oh, and it looks like Panunzio going to be coming uh -oh. around here. He getting a finish two. here. He, yes, he does. Got to be careful here, though, taking him down. We got to see what's going to happen here. Very slow. 
Wow. I mean, if Co yeah, that's interesting there. there I mean, he looked like he was trying to slow him down. Um, Penunzi, obviously, a freshman, inexperienced, really. Um, he doesn't have many <laughs> much uh, experience here on this level. You, I don't know. What do you think about that call? <laughs> uh, I'm always so the ref, the referee, Coach Bird knows this in the back of his head. Uh, the referee put two hands behind his head. The Fitch wrestler says, "I can't go anymore. It's six points for Fitch because it was an illegal move." Um, I don't know. I think that's a judgment call to every official. Uh, you want to keep all the wrestler safety. I did think he came down with a little bit too much of a uh, He came down very aggressive. Um, yeah, I don't think it was his in any of his no, intentions. No, obviously intentions after how, how he was trying to get him down. I think he, that's what he just thought in the end of his mind was going to be the yep. best situation because, um, like I said, inexperienced wrestler really didn't, didn't know what to do in that situation. Had, probably hasn't been in it before where he's taken a couple seconds to literally just stand there with him on his shoulders not knowing what to do. Nice scramble here, though. Oh, uh, yeah. Now make it 6 nothing here. After the takedown, it was 2 nothing. The illegal move made it 3 nothing. Penunzio. Let him up, going to be 4 nothing, yep. and then the takedown for 6. Got about 30 seconds here in the second period. Deloach working a little ball and chain here. Let's see what we can get off of this if anything comes out of it. Get some sw cheap swipes here. And this can could he end be up dangerous. On top, though, yeah, yeah, this could be dangerous. Can he end here. up on top here? A defensive pin, even maybe. We saw last year, actually, in Canfield Fitch, we had a defensive pin that ended up changing the match. So would that be the instance here? That'd be actually. Two seconds. Insane. I don't think it's going to. That's gonna. Oh, I think that's at least neutral. Yes, loss of control. Yeah, I don't think it was. Uh, I don't think Panunzio had pos uh, control there. He did. Uh, I think he did lose con possession though. Deloach did. Six-one going into the third period. Wrestlers go neutral. Oh, A beautiful wow. blast! Wow, through high crotch there for Panunzio. Wow. wow. That was an awesome shot on that. Coach Shaw is already saying, let's go neutral. 7-4, excuse me, 7-3 is going to be this. I feel like the match is actually a lot closer than yeah. the score tells here. I feel like it could easily be a 1-0, 2-0 match here. You and Penunzio back wow. on the shot. This is where Penunzio has struggled there um, with the scrambles See, earlier are, we saw. His feet are touching. I don't know how that's not. They were touching. Well, if you yeah. think, take those two points away, it's 7-3 match. Or 5-3 match. Yeah. Yeah, Panunzio, though, has been getting stuck on those scrambles. That's where he's given up those points, though. He's getting some really nice shots in, just can't finish in those scrambles. And in on, a, I mean, another nice shot. And yeah, the, he keeps constant pressure on him. He's Panunzio, wow. obviously, you can see a very built freshman. Um, tons of strength there. Just, I just don't think the experience there is enough with the scrambles yet is all. But he's definitely looking very good on those shots. Deloach is going to take that down, though. Working yep. the scramble. Going to make it 9-3. Can Penunzio create some fireworks in the last minute here to end up on top? See, Deloach, is, and he's a good scrambler, but he's, he's uh, kind of gotten a little lazy almost. I don't, I mean, I don't want to use that word, but... Yeah, he's getting uh, a little, a little high, reckless, I guess. On, a little yeah. reckless and could get, I mean, we almost saw a defensive pin in the second period. Um, yeah, he's getting high here. Can we see very Penunzio high. maybe head uh, hunt, start head get hunting. on top and turn him or something? Start head hunting and pull, yeah, and get some flat. Yeah, it's not what you want to see. Sinks it back in though. Got under 30 seconds here. Wow, wouldn't that be crazy if he head hunted and got him down? I know. So what are we at? Six points. Yeah, if he can get a turn here, it would make it a major. That'd be some another yeah, huge some bonus point. Yeah, Yeah, I mean that's four points compared to three. Time's running out. Deloach is going to get the win, 9-3. to three. Fitch is going to increase their lead by 3. 21-15. to 15. We bump up to the 157-pound weight class.
seven property class. Rushing for Canfield, Arius Diedrich, Washington. Arius. Steven Pontius for Fitch, and I need <laughs> Ty. Ty uh, he, he, uh, he had to go to the bathroom real quick. And this last name area is Greenrich. We'll go with that. I need your help here on this last name. Who we got here? Uh, Arius Gingrich. There we go. Gingrich and... Yeah, that, that one's a tough one. I don't blame you for that one. Steven. Yeah. 157-pound weight class. No score. Pontius. Pontius. Outside single from Pontius. Trying to finish. Picks it up. Got to elevate that in your armpit. And good job there. Had that elevated. Kind of just like stepped back and got the ankle out there. It was a nice defense there. He's got that Russian tie in there. And they get it out. Under 50 seconds to go here in the first period. Austin Town Fitch in the lead by six. Yes, still one match, or uh, one match duel here. Oh, nice shot there by Gingrich, getting on the high crotch. Can he benefit off it and get that two? He's gotta climb the back here to get that two. Two is awarded for Gingrich, going right to a cross face. We see four consecutive cross faces there. We get an unsportsmanlike conduct there from Gingrich. Um, yeah, that, that last one did look a little bit heavy. Um, yeah, that last one did look a little bit heavy. We had four yeah. there. Um, the three before, he was, it looked like he was trying to work, but the last one, it kind of got a little bit too aggressive. On the edge here, he's got to get him out before that's he gets a stall call. That's got to be a stall. He's yep. gotta, yeah, you got to let him go. To be a stall. Yep. Now he's got a stall call. Oh, that, that's close there. With, with, yeah. oh, that may come down to the end of the third period, see what happens and uh, what comes out. But um, I don't know. I, don't, I almost don't mind the stall call there with um, it being short time and not giving up the one. Yeah. Uh, Canfield defers. Coach Bird says, let's go down. Ultimately, it's going to come to the end if we get to stall call. Yeah. It's the one worth it yep. or not. So. And we're neutral going 2-2, start of the second. Yeah, both wrestlers seem pretty uh, confident, neutral. No, not really uh, one dominating the other. Just uh, some nice shots, some back and forth. Oh, beautiful. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. We sent some really nice shots here from yeah. Canfield tonight. End of the season, you love to see it. Um, you know, all year you're, you're fine tuning your things. You're getting that 1% better every day. And uh, you, it shows now late in the season after all the hard tournaments and going into sectionals here soon. Yeah, Gingrich here has a boot, and I think what he has to do here is if he's going to do anything with that boot and not get a stall call here, because it looks like he may be riding those hips actually. Um, he's got to get one ankle over the other leg, actually, if he's going to want to turn him here. It's a tough position. It's a weird position to explain, but um, there's not much you can do with one boot in besides uh, create a lot of down pressure. Got a little under a minute here in the second. It's going to be 4-2 to two Gingrich on top here. Could see another stall call here. Yeah, I I'm, I'm not sure if he's been, we don't, we don't have the angle here to see what he's yeah. been working on, but uh, it looked like he was working he's got the a hips earlier. He's trying to get a bundle locked up. Yeah, it looked weird. He had it on the wrong side. I'm not sure what happened there either. 30 ticks to go here in the second. Can he ride him out though? That would be a huge ride out here yeah. for Gingrich. He's just trying to sit on the ankle. He's got to let him go though. Yeah, him. you got to let him go. A nice, a nice return, return there. Do you know who chose what in this period? Uh, Fitch chose down and Canfield kicked. Uh, gotcha. And Canfield took, got a takedown. Gotcha. Yeah, going up three. Or, yeah, that'd make it 5 2. If he goes bottom, gets an escape, then that'd be. Yeah, if he rides I could see Coach Shaw going neutral, to be honest with you. Huh? It would not be. <laughs> <laughs> That's the third time tonight. <laughs> we see it. Let's see if it works out again. 
Shaw's been a gambling man here tonight. It worked out before. Let's see if it happens oh, again. That, that should be a stalling. Not a, that, your shoes come untied. That's a stalling, right? I believe so. I think uh, Shaw. I think Shaw saw that too and was looking back out of frustration. <laughs> Didn't want to say anything, but yeah, I think that should be a stall call. Unless, unless I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Unless I, I'm trying I, unless to think of some we explanation. Didn't see or the official didn't yeah. saw that you know that need needed to be fixed, but even if it looks like we know. might get a stall call here from Gringrich, and getting pushed he back. Shot out. Though. Yeah, it's nice. gonna help him there. Yeah, it looked like he was getting dominated there. On with the those border unders. and gonna go neutral. That'd be a second. That'd be a, that'd be a point. Mm -hmm. That, yeah. In on a high crotch there. Can he finish here to make it 4 4, tie the match you up? See post right on his knees. Push that head down. Front headlock. And yeah. you got you to gotta go. You got to go for at that. At least use a little bit of time there. Yeah. You can't just let him up immediately. You got to be on that head pressure. You can't just let him up right. Oh, got smacked down right on his wow. face and going Beautiful. around for two. 6 2. That's exactly what you're looking yeah. for from there. See if you get some swipes here, getting to the bonus, even maybe try and get the fall. Yeah, we're four points away here from uh, Bonus. Coming into the last couple seconds, um, the bottom wrestler, he's been getting run, rode out for the past couple mm -hmm. minutes, so um, might get tired here. We could see some action here within the last minute. Bird wants his wrestler over there. He's yelling at him. He's wanting him to go. He's wanting him to get up, move here. He's still got a shot in here. He's only down four. If he gets up, nice takedown and a set of backs or even two takedowns. Yep. He's still got a shot here. So uh, he's Bird's got that bottom one. He's running across. Oh, he almost on. Gets him loose. Six three. Need a takedown. Gingrich has been pretty solid from uh, neutral here so far on defense, but he does have that stall call. If they get the takedown, let him back up. That stall call could come huge. Yeah. He's there. I mean, both wrestlers are gas. Wild yeah. shot. No setup. And beautiful go up. behind yeah. there off the re attack. Looks like that's going to close this yep. match out here. Eight to three, going to Aries Greengridge and Canfield Cardinals to make the score 21 to 18 as the match closes out here. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. A doctor you can rely on, the customized care you've been looking for. The power of care is nothing without hope, and our primary care services were created with true, whole person healing in mind. Find your hope at Meridian Healthcare. Welcome back to Austin Town High School. Cruising through this one, 165-pound weight class. And we got a good one. We got Tristan Miller here for Canfield, but it looks like Fitch is going to, I'm not sure who Fitch is here, that's why I didn't say the name, but he gets the two early on in the match, and they go out. I'm trying to find who we have here for Fitch. Joseph Jones, potentially, or... doctor you can rely on the customized care you've been looking for the power of care is nothing without hope and our primary care services were created with true whole person healing in mind find your hope at meridian Healthcare. going the extra mile means doing more for the people who matter most to you it's how you take care of your family and yourself how hard you work and play at greenwood chevrolet we know going the extra mile is about more than what we do at our dealership HVAC causing havoc? Has your furnace gone mad? Commercial or residential 24-7? Call your hometown hero. Call Mighty Mike. Game days are a big deal at Giangelo's. Draft and bucket specials. Pizza and wing specials all day long. 120-inch TV to watch all your teams on the NFL Network. Only at Giangelo's. Hi-Res Future Cash shows steady snow for the next few hours. Still just downright cold. Several strong bands of lake effect snow. Some freeze warnings. Most of those up until around 10 o'clock this morning. Wednesday morning, some more snow showers. So if you need a more detailed winter forecast. Welcome back into this one. Wrestlers all healthy and ready to go. 
John Hake for Austintown Fitch got the takedown, got that name confirmed. Yeah, I don't think we ever would have got that one if no. we did, didn't ask. And both wrestlers fighting good here. Tristan Miller for Camfield. He's up on his feet. He's doing a good job of getting out. We see a reattack here. Has not. There we go. And takes a shot. Oh, trying to finish. Wow. They're getting his wow. legs and under him. And going right to something on top here. 3 2 here for Canfield. He's cross racing over top. He's pretty high. Yeah, he is. He's got a cradle locked up oh, here. Oh, I didn't see that on the other side. Yeah. Oh, boy. That was magic. That just got locked up out of nowhere. You got. Oh, and. Oh, boy. Yeah, that this could be huge here. Yeah, that came out of nowhere. He just wow. kind of slapped that thing on Bo Nickel style. Yeah, I didn't even see that from the other from our side over here. Canfield takes their first lead of the and night. Miller looks to be hurt. Did a great job. During that uh, intermission, he did uh, get looked at by the Canfield uh, Maybe, medical staff. I, I hope, like hope it's a cramp. Hurt. Yeah. Hope it's a cramp. Yeah. I mean, that's the best case scenario. I hope, I hope nothing. But uh, he did a great job there picking up the fall for Canfield. I feel, like if he I feel like it does look like to be a cramp. If he's going for water here, the uh, Canfield medical staff, we got a very good one there. And Dr. Hogg. Um, oh, this is, see, th this is where mind games start. Yeah, we, like we said, it, it, they obviously have it all called out. Mm -hmm. um, each situation of who wins what, what happens here, how many points. Each coach has went through this probably 10, 10 or so times and seeing mm -hmm. who's going to go where. So uh, we got Gabe Miller out here for Canfield. And we got Alec Markham here for Austin Town Fitch. Yeah, like there it comes down to the uh, Miller in Miller. A, yep. Back He's to back. In on a cradle. Those two brothers, uh, studs yeah. to be reckoned with here in the Canfield lineup. Back to back weight classes, junior or sophomore and freshman. Going to be a good uh, brother set there for the next couple years to come. I wonder who their drill partners are. <laughs> I do not think each other. Really? <laughs> no chance. Those two do not get along <laughs> like that. I know yeah, if I was, is. I know if I was wrestling with my brother, there's no chance I would be his drill partner. It'd uh, come down to a fist fight by then. So <laughs> I do not think they uh, drill together. Phil, or, uh, and coming out for 190 is okay, everyone. I think I know what's gonna happen. Phillips is coming out for 90, 215. I think we're gonna see Cameron Natali and a heavyweight. We may see Marky versus Vince Lose. We very well. This one's, this one's, yeah, Cam's warming up to go out there at 215. Phillips, very good for Austin Town Fitch, and he's yeah, in on like an outside single immediately. Zayna Med? Yeah. Zayna Med out for Campfield. Heavyweight, maybe. I mean, the match. It could, could decide it, this ACC it could decide, title. Yeah, it could decide the ACC title. AAC. AAC. <laughs> yeah, we were going between earlier. Uh, we got a college <laughs> conference and a high school conference. We got the AAC title here on the line with Canfield and Fitch. Phillips, very close to getting the fall. He's got that half deep, elevated. And it's a matter of seconds here, and there it is. Fitch gets the fall, and yes, we're going to see Cameron Natale. We're going to see some fireworks here to end this match off. It's going to be a fun one. It's 30 to 27 right now. Campfield Cardinals are leading over wow. the Austin Fitch Falcons. Oh boy, I'm Pits sorry. This, I'm like getting <laughs> pumped up for this. This is what everyone wanted to see. Yeah, I mean, obviously we got Chris Coluccio here. It was 215 last year, so he was right in the weight classes there. He he's ready to roll. He's ready to see the outcomes here. He's he's jumping on the edge of his seat here. You can't see him, but I'm sure you can picture him. And this is what Marky. He's been. Marky loves competition. He, his dreams to be a UFC champ. Uh, if there's anyone in this. Uh, area that has the determination and willpower and that wants to do it. I, my money's on Marky. He, he, he's a, like Nate Diaz, but then you got... I got to go with my guy. The big red machine. <laughs> yeah, you got to go with the big red machine if I'm going with them. Um, both uh, have some... We were talking about this earlier. Both have some... Uh, they they get pumped up in the yeah, moment. They yeah. get pumped up in the moment. We could see some uh, possibly unsportsmanlike conduct maybe. Yeah, and we're going to get... I think we're going to get a fall here from... And so Coach the, the important plan. thing there is... 
if one of them ends up getting that DQ, I'm not saying this will happen, but if it does happen, one could potentially uh, have yeah, to I mean, sit out for yeah, sectionals. Uh, sectionals. This could be. And you gotta go. control your wrestlers here. Match of the gotta night. Gotta control your wrestlers here. Vince Luce from Canfield, Ohio. Marky Stankor from Austin Town Fitch. Fans are getting pumped up. This is what you come to see. Man, this match is of awesome. the night. I'm on my feet. <laughs> Benches are on their feet. They're getting hyped. Here we go, everybody. Match of the night. Vince Luce, Canfield, Ohio. Marky Stankor, Austin Town Fitch. Officials. No, the official yeah, knows wrestling very well. He knows what's well. on stake here. He knows what's, what's going on. on. Doesn't want this to get out of hand. Stankorb. We got a 60-pound uh, difference yeah. here. It's huge. Stankorb comes out with the aggressive head collar tie. Loose shrugs it off, stays in the middle. Stankorb with the speed and agility. Yeah, but Loose does have that 60 pounds on him. It's going to be a lot to handle here. But uh, Stankorb, if, if anybody's going to do it, it could be him. Yes, 100%. Stankorb wrestled heavyweight earlier on the season last year. Did very well for himself. Made the cut down to 215. Qualified for state at 215 last year. Both wrestlers highly ranked at their respected weight class. Uh, both, I think, want to make a trip. And Stankorb in on outside single. Missed it. Vince Luce in on a collar or a front headlock. Coach Sean wanted him to snap that down. Didn't. And Stankorb, the aggressor here. And Luce, the aggressiveness, just shrugs yeah, we were him talking down. About both wrestlers this. Both wrestlers this offseason have gotten wow. in, in. It's been phenomenal to watch the uh, improvement of both the wrestlers here. It's, and we got some side-to-side -side wrestling. We were talking about this before match as well. We got coaches Chirping going back, back and, and forth, forth and back and forth as well. This happened it's, last year with Canfield Fitch. It is always a movie with Canfield Fitch here, and we got a good one on our hands here to end it off. Stink or a little, a little taunting there is I think what's going yeah, back and forth. Yeah, he was at the Canfield uh, sideline there. He kind of stuck his tongue out towards yeah. the bench. On the, he's got that warrior mindset in him. So Real champ. Real war. You know, it's Nate Diaz versus the world out there, <laughs> as he likes to say. And you know, make Stankorb with, I mean, he's had all the offensive attacks. Yeah, but Vince, I mean, he, the speed has been there for Vince on the defense, though. It's not like. They go out of bounds. It's not like Vince hasn't been able to keep up with the speed neutral there. 40 seconds in the first period been, to go. Been really impressive to see, actually. Um, the feet work in the defense there by Vince, but also uh, Marky being able to keep up with, he's given up 60 pounds here, and I don't think you guys realize how important that difference is. Oh, it's huge. Even it's, though it's an upper weight class, 60 pounds is not something I bumped, that is easy. I bumped up for a few matches last year to wrestle heavyweight, and it, you feel the weight. You 100% feel the weight. I mean, it, Even it's, at it's a lot. Even at 44 to 150, you feel it. I mean, it's, yeah. but going from 215 to 285, it's. Marky's uh, offense here, he's got to be thinking outside. Uh, you can't get that weight stuck on the back, on your back. You just can't. Uh, it's, it's not going to be good here. Um, and it's going to be, you know, this is going to be a top and bottom battle. Uh, I, if I'm Coach Bird, I'm not putting Marky down. We also got to think about the 106 here. We started yeah, at 113. We started one, we We're forgetting about that 106 weight class. Um, it's 33 to 30 here. So if it goes 3-3 either way, it's going to come down to the 6. Yeah. Um, even if, yeah, if it goes 3-3 either way, it's going to come to the 6. But if Marky picks up bonus points, it doesn't look like he's going to. That would be a lot to give up. Hard. However, Marky goes down. Oh, Marky in on a nice out immediately. That was huge. That's huge. You don't want that weight. You get tired out on bottom with all that weight on your on top. That if Marky could pick up a takedown here on the outside single that he's been working out very well. And now Vince is just pushing in, trying to bully around with his strength. Both in a collar tie here. Vince with his feet to the ring. Both wrestlers going back to center. Yeah, we're excited for this match. I'm excited for that 106 after <laughs> this. I'm ready to ready to see what happens. I think Canfield actually is on a three-year losing streak to Fitch, and it's a wow. huge, it's a huge rivalry there. And yeah, both one, like I sure. said, they both circle those uh, calendars for it. Canfield on a three-year losing streak, looking to uh, snap that. That'd be huge for him. AAC title on the line, heavyweight bout, biggest match of the night. Austin Town Fitch in the lead by three. Marky Stankorb bumping up to heavyweight, getting that escape point. We're a minute to go here in the second period. Canfield's going to have choice going into the third period. Marky does a good job circling, not going out of bounds. Yeah, it looks like we could have got a stall call there, uh, potentially. And Marky did a great job circling back in, swimming in. Both wrestlers are very heavy on their feet. A snap down would get someone to the mat, and Vince Luce in on a uh, kind of a knee pick there. Not working. Wrestlers go out of bounds. 40.2 to go in the second period. 
Marky Stankorb, Austin Town Fitch, Vince Luce, Campfield. Now I'm sure if you're uh, Marky here, you've been working with the heavyweight probably all, mm, all week. Yeah, for, for sure. Moment, I mean, so. Coach Bird game plans very well. Uh, very tough. I mean, the best dual coach in the in the area. Uh, has a very good record, and he manipulates his lineup very well to go out there and win. He's no dummy. He knew what he was going to do from the jump, uh, from when they were going to win or lose that coin toss. They knew if they were going to pick evens or odds. He had game, six different game plans for each coin toss. So uh, it's huge. And it's going to end the second period. Stankorb gets out one nothing. And Luce is going to go down. Marky on top, deciding to ride. He's it's trying to throw a boot immediately. That's going to be, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I kind of expected that one. This could go, oh my God, imagine this goes into like a, uh, like a double overtime ride out. Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> I am getting pumped up for this one. I'm going to let you do all the calling at that point. I'm going to sit back and watch. So Marky, if it goes to an ultimate ride out, Marky has choice because he scored first, correct? Correct, yes. Wow, that, I mean, that's huge. Scoring first is huge. I mean, I, I don't know. I think both wrestlers, though. If anything, if it comes down to the ride out, I think Vince has the edge with those 60 pounds there, though. Yeah, but if, we saw how fast Marky got. Marky got out in five seconds. Yeah, if he's you, fast you're absolutely right about that one. Oh, oh, if that was in the middle. I think we could definitely see that one. Yeah, but I do, I do absolutely agree with. If it, yeah, you're right. If it comes to the double ride out, though. Yeah, it comes um, to yeah, ultimate ride out. Marky scored first. He'll yeah. have choice. Um, God, this this one uh, definitely match of the night. Yeah, it's living up to everything we thought it was gonna be. Oh, Marky in on a single. He needs to elevate that, and pick it up to his armpit. He's got it in the center of the mat. Don't worry about going out of bounds. Vince doing a great job here. Marky's trying to pick it up, and that's going to be that's going to be two. Marky got a takedown. Three to one. Minute to go in the first, and Austin Town Fitch fans are pumped. Stankorb yeah, leads. Can't feel fans shocked out here. Um, everyone's on their feet. Not much. Not much coming out. And but Stankorb's Austin Town Fitch here. Gonna let him go here. 45, three, two. And Luce gonna, needs a takedown. We're gonna see some fireworks here to end this one off. We called it. We were hoping to see it. 30 to go, and Luce kind of shoves him out, kind of wanting a stall call, didn't get it. It's kind of what you need to do there if you're loose, though. You're not going to do anything on the edge there. Canfield's bench got to be careful. They don't get too close to the mat. I mean, it's a huge match. Both, both, both ones are on their feet. Uh, can come down to anything here. Last 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Both wrestlers, call it tied. Marky Stankorp in the lead, three to two. This could seal the deal. It could. It doesn't look like Vince is uh, going for anything here. So, And Vince is just going out. Coach Bird is telling Marky, hey, nothing stupid here. But if, keep you're, your if cool. you're Vince here, you have to also keep your cool because if yeah. you get that one point away, that's going to make it an impossible match for the 106 no matter what. Yeah. Oh, does Vince get behind Oh, here? my God. Oh. <laughs> that is, wow. We wow, 1.2. That was going to be the match. And Coach Shaw wanted to challenge it at the end. Fitch fans going crazy. Huge win. And that's has got it. That should this be a technical. Yeah, I know. This is what I'm saying here. He, he threw his head here. That should be a technical. Yep. And that's going like, to seal the match. That's, that's exactly what we were match. saying. You have to. That's exactly what we yeah. had to see there. Yeah, I mean, 100%. They just watch the, lost the duel. Wow, and you know, Fitch. Can we get an ejection? Yeah, we get an ejection from the fan. I think that's that's Stankorb's grandfather. He's getting tossed out. Uh, I think he came over and was taunting on the uh, Canfield bench. But Canfield did lose a, a point. Vince Luce threw his headgear into the seats. That's going to seal that's the deal. Worse, that, that, that's that's going to seal the deal because you can't win. You, can't come back you cannot after win. That. If Canfield pins here, they cannot win. But I do, I almost want to, I think, I'm almost 90% sure Fitch has more pins if we go back and look at it because that's I'm the not criteria 100 it goes down sure. to. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure there, but uh, 
now impossible to uh, come back there, though, unless unless Fish gets an unsportsmanlike conduct to end this one off, which is very unlikely because Bird's going to have him under control. But And I don't think we're going to – we're not starting this match till the fan gets uh, escorted out. Uh, we're going to take a break. We're going to let everything uh, that needs to happen happen. We'll be right back. Going the extra mile means doing more for the people who matter most to you. It's how you take care of your family and yourself, how hard you work and play. At Greenwood Chevrolet, we know going the extra mile is about more than what we do at our dealership. Why is 21 News the watchdog station? How come the equipment was purchased without knowing if it's compatible? Millions have gone to waste. Seeing an uptick in check fraud. We break down everything you need to know. So none of the soil underneath the rail lines is contaminated. Pointing to several gaps in EPA data. What can you say to the Youngstown community to ensure this is safe? We'll continue to keep watch. Welcome back into this one. Score 36-29, match is out of reach. Fan got escorted out. Chase Kemble, Kemble and Will Petruna are wrestling in this one. Petruna. I'm not gonna lie, I'd be surprised if you can the wrestlers walk out for a handshake after this. It, I mean, it's security always security would it's, have to yeah, be around. It's, it's it always be, I mean um, we would have to fireworks coming out yeah. here with Canfield Austin Town and obviously it lived up to it. Um, unfortunate what happened at the end there. Yeah. But hate to see uh unsportsmanlike, but it Yeah, especially it costing your team there though. Yeah. That I I can't even like I don't know. That is just unacceptable behavior there. 100 percent Can't do that because even if you get the, you, you can't win here. You can't win. Yeah, you gotta give your chance a team or your team a chance. Um it's bigger than just you in a duel, it's the whole team. It's not just you, and you yeah. just threw away the whole team's uh, chance there with one one uh, silly mistake there. We move on, 106 pound match, last match of the night. Uh <laughs> I'm at a loss of words. I mean, Stankor in on a, I mean, he. Yeah, and then Vince on the edge there. Grinded it out, yeah. Yeah, the, we, we definitely, and then Shaw trying to get a timeout there to see what uh, yeah. he could have done. Nothing would have happened out of it because yeah. um, ultimately there was 1.5 seconds left and you're not getting the takedown right there, but still. Wow, fireworks. Thirty to go here in the first period. Kemble on top in the lead, two nothing. Hey, you would have. You, I'd get the biggest guys you got in this this uh, gymnasium and get them around Vince Luce and Marquis Stankor <laughs> on the handshake. <laughs> and we're gonna have potentially dangerous. Five point nine to go here in the first period at the 106 pound bout. I think both teams are going to be holding a few people back here at the end. Just to, uh, because like we said, that if you get DQ'd here, um, your potential state chant, your state run's done. So yeah. both teams obviously have to think of that and uh, potentially just hold some people back from the handshake here. It's crazy we're talking about handshake. We still got a match going yeah, on. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> like uh, a lot. I mean, well, we're used to, you know, heavyweight being the last match, and they did a pill draw, and. I mean, even still, I think we're thinking about that because of how big we don't. How big that match really was. Yeah. That match there secured the AC's AAC yeah. title there for Austin Town Fitch. Still getting it confused. We thought we were going to do this with Oak Glen yeah, and Glen Oak, Glen Oak, but we're doing it with AAC and ACC. I think I've done that more tonight than I have with Oak Glen and Glen Oak. Kemble in on a shot. Scramble position here. 90 to go in the second. We're going to get a reversal here. Going to be 6 nothing in the second period. One minute, five seconds to go. Second period. Kemble in the lead, six nothing. 
Locking up the cradle, going around. Yep. Can he get this off? All of maybe. Cradle. End it off here, or can we see something else from Will Petruna from Gayfield? Reversal two, going to be 6 2 Petruna. And on a re attack on the border, nice mat awareness. Uh, continuing on to get that lead down to four. Petruna. Yeah, I'm trying to go back, back through this match and just think of uh, what possibly could have changed this outcome for Canfield, but I think Austin Town just has. Yeah. yeah, I think every I think everything came down perfectly how each coach could have imagined it. It just yeah. came down to um, Austin Town Fitch having the better wrestlers out here today. We're in neutral here. Seven twos a score. Thirty to go in the second. Coach Per, legendary, known around the area, known for having great dual teams out there and great dual matches, great dual game plans. Um, he had a great game plan tonight and he executed it perfectly. Knew what, knew what happened, uh, great match. It's gonna be the end of the second, going into the third. Will Petruna is down to Chase Campbell. Seven to two, we're gonna go neutral. Third period, and Kemp Kemble in on a takedown. Nine two is gonna be is the score increases. And Falcons bench is saying kick him, trying to get bonus points here. Yep, potentially just put that statement down yeah. on Canfield, um, especially after after the sparks the flare. Obviously, every time, um, just trying to put the statement down. Yeah, going into next year, it all starts right now. Yeah. Um, Game starts, planning. Yeah, it starts right after this match. So putting a statement down with uh, this final match here from Mosstown Fitch and going into next year. Oh, I'm pumped up about that last one. <laughs> I know. I, t I told you it was going to be a good one. I told you Canfield Fitch is always, always a fun one. Oh, yeah. You probably haven't experienced it. Yet. You've probably had your own, though. You've had your own the same like this uh, with South Range, but you South haven't experienced Cal. Yeah. yeah, you haven't Austin experienced. Austin would always go head to head. Uh, you know, we, we would battle hard, but, you know. Came down who, who had more points at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm glad you could come out here and experience it because it's always oh so, my God, it, it's it's so awesome. fun to watch it. This is what wrestling is all about. This will be on forever. I will live stream this match <laughs> as much as I can. 40 seconds to go in this match. We got uh, a good one tomorrow, too. Yeah, Fitch and Salem. Or not Fitch, West Branch, West Branch and, Salem. and Salem. Yeah, another rivalry another that we were speaking rivalry, about. That. Yeah, uh, two schools that, you know, don't really like each other that much. No. Uh, Kyle Burt is in the is in the, the crowd there. He's, he's on the actually yeah. You get a little little bit of see him yeah, you can on see that him a little bottom bit left far corner. Far left, yeah. Yeah, right on the edge. Uh, he's gonna be a wrestler there for Salem, one yeah. of their studs. I'm on the many. Salem has a great team there as great well. Team. Um, yeah. Twenty seconds to go in this one. Wrap up the duel. Oh, I, I just <laughs> we're still pumped up about that heavyweight match. Doesn't get better than that. Uh uh. Eight to go. Duel on the line. Bumping up your best guy to wrestle Canfield's best guy. Comes down to it. And uh, wow, that's what it's all about. That's going to do, do it for this one. Fitch gets three points there. Final score is going to be 39-29. It's going to wrap the duel up. Both teams respect each other very much. Shaking hands. Finishing this one out. I mean, great duel. I mean, we can go. I, I think Coach Bird definitely coached very well tonight. Uh, Both did. I mean, did, uh, yeah, Coach Shaw did very. We saw well some too. neutral calls. We personally didn't yeah. think were the best, and they the ended up working on top. So that yeah, potentially yeah. put them in the match. You know, so both coaches obviously did the best they possibly can to put their teams in the uh, best spot. Both great job by Coach Bird and Coach Shaw. Yep. Uh, let's, just, let's go talk about the heavyweight match. You got Vince Luce from Canfield, Marky Stankorb from Austin Town Fitch. Match of the night. Uh, and Marky Stankorb giving up those 60 pounds. It came out and it, it, it helped them. They won. Uh, they got the win there. And that, uh, I mean, sealed it up. Uh, getting that takedown in the third period to uh, get the 3-2 to two lead. Um, very, cru very crucial. Very good job. Uh, both schools very respected. 
uh, in the area for wrestling. Did a good job. Uh, rivalry, rivalry is still there. It's going to continue. Uh, wrestling is not dead as many people as they want it to be. It's not. It'll be around for a long time. Ty? Yeah, a great match out here. It's obviously, we saw some fireworks. We saw everything we cut, possibly could have wanted. Um, even the fans getting, yeah. getting thrown out here. Everybody was into it tonight. It was an awesome match. Ultimately, Fitch um, comes up 39-29 from both great coaching jobs. You couldn't possibly have wanted anything better. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Great match for Ty Strucko, Chris Colucci. Signing off. Thank you very much for everyone. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of Your Sports Network. For stories, stats, and more, go to ysnlive.com.